Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. I am so excited to finally be here to share the birth story with you. I apologize that it's taken me a little bit longer than I anticipated because it's been an interesting recovery to say the least. Um, but very excited to share all the details with you. So come along and join me. So I have to take you back to when I was 34 weeks pregnant. It was Shabbat, it was Friday night, and I started to feel certain symptoms. I started to spot a little bit. I started to have very mild contractions, which was not alarming to me at all. And I was just feeling run down. That's when it all started. What I'm going to be doing is like talking and showing you clips that I took so you can see in real time what I was saying and what I was doing. Um, but this is a clip that I'm going to be sharing with you that I took right after Shabbat. Uh, you can see that I am tired, that I'm not feeling well, and I'm telling you that we're going to go to the doctor because I'm just not feeling 100%. Well, hello everyone. It is Saturday after Shabbat, and we have Aviva over here with 102.4 fever and all of Shabbat I really wasn't feeling well so for those of you asking if we um, uh, break Shabbat for health reasons yes we do I had to call my doctor on Shabbat because of some concerns that I was having um, so now Shabbat is over and I'm still not feeling my best so we're gonna go and head out and get checked so that the babysitter's on her way. And I'll update you later. We're here. So we came to the hospital just to see what's going to be happening. So I'm still having contractions and some other issues that we wanted to sort out. I have my buddy here. So I'll keep you guys posted. It's 12.30 in the morning. Just got my antibiotics. My steroid shot because it looks like a preterm labor. Thirty-four weeks and two days. So yeah, I tried to come home, take care of the babies, and then check on me in a few hours. I apologize, I know that last clip was um, a little bit hard to hear me. Um, so basically what I was saying is that it was 12.30 in the morning and I started to progress, I started to dilate, and they basically said, yep, you're in preterm labor, you're not going anywhere. They gave me a steroid shot to basically develop the baby's lungs because they knew that labor and delivery would be imminent. And I was just feeling like shocked, I didn't expect it. I just sent Shy home to the kids because I figured, Nothing's gonna happen. I'm only 34 weeks. This is just like a fluke type of thing, probably. So he literally just left, I think, 30 minutes before um, the doctor made the decision. Um, so I was kind of like shocked. I didn't know like what was happening. I'm only 34 weeks. Um, so I had to like process all of that. So that's what you just saw. All my other labors, I basically got my epidural because um, I had two sets of twins. I was not going to attempt to do it um, natural at all. I was too scared. And then my last baby, I just got the epidural also because I didn't have any faith in myself to be able to go through it. Um, but the last two times that I basically got the epidural, I had a really bad reaction. So basically with Hillel, my, my fifth one, and my second set of twins after I got the epidural and after I gave birth I had something called a spinal headache I don't know if any of you have heard of it but it's basically a really intense headache that you basically have pain in your head the back of your head your neck to the point where you can't even bend your your neck down so it was hard for me to nurse the baby or to hold my baby and that was caused by the epidural space leaking spinal fluid um, into my back into my spine so they didn't do it correctly and so i was just leaking sp cerebral spinal fluid in the space where they did the epidural um so that causes an imbalance of pressure which causes the headache and it took me like a week to recover it was awful 
I didn't understand what I was going through the first time it happened to me with the twins until this happened to me with Hillel's labor and delivery. And I was like, what is this? And I told my doctor and she's like, oh, you have a spinal headache. I had to get something called a spinal patch, uh, a blood patch, which they basically take blood and they uh, put it into this, this, the area where they did the epidural shot to basically clog that area up. So it was just insane. So this pregnancy, I said, I am not going through that again. I don't care how bad it hurts during labor and delivery. It cannot be as bad as going through that pain for an entire week to recover. So um, I started basically to dilate, as I told you, at around, whenever I got there, I was already uh, one and a half centimeters and by 5.09 a.m. I had the baby so I progressed pretty quickly for me it usually takes me much longer and I decided to just not get the epidural and suffer through it and yeah I, it was intense <laughs> it definitely was a different experience uh, for those who get epidurals and they don't feel anything that is amazing and I definitely did enjoy the no pain part going through the labor and delivery um, but the after effects for me were just not worth it so yeah I did it all on my own this time so I guess I get that medal um, but it was definitely not easy. So props to all the mamas who do it naturally and props to all the mamas who get their epidural because why not if you can? So as you just saw, I had the baby. The baby came at 5.09. It was a baby boy. Um, he was 4 pounds, 11 ounces, 17 inches long and Keep it in cuddly and everything was great he did need a little bit of help breathing because he was a preemie so he had a cpap machine for a few hours uh, he had an iv just because they weren't sure if there was like an infection that caused me to go into early labor um but that all came off within the first few hours of his life which is amazing for a 34 weeker i think so he was progressing really well he was doing excellently everything came off within the first few hours I was able to hold him and do skin to skin, which was so, so nice. Um, and we just had a typical um, hospital recovery, as they say. And I ended up uh, going home. I was discharged two days later. The baby did have to stay for an entire week before he got discharged. That's just the protocol that they have for preemies over there. So um, I got to go home. I got to go home to my kids for a few days. And then I ended up right back in the hospital. Um, what ended up happening was um, literally the next Friday, uh, so like two, three days after I got discharged, I started to feel um, certain symptoms like um, a headache again um, in the back of my head. And I felt very, very weak. I felt like this, um, um, like my heart rate in my ears, my heartbeat in my throat. Like I just didn't feel right. And I, my mom was with me. And she's a medical assistant so i told her mom can you just check my blood pressure i feel like something is off and it was really high it was like 180 something over 100 and 160 over 80 it was it was high so i knew something was not right i called my doctor and she said go to the er because it looks like you have postpartum preeclampsia and that's of course what it was i ended up going in on a friday and they admitted me and I had to stay there until Sunday, which was very, very hard. Of course, leaving my kids, um, being by myself in the hospital over Shabbat, it was quite depressing. Um, they gave me magnesium. If any of you have ever been on a magnesium drip for postpartum eclampsia, it is brutal. It makes you so loopy. It, it wasn't a very good experience. Uh, they put me on some blood pressure medicine, which stabilized everything, Baruch Hashem. Um, and I pretty much recovered very, very quickly, which was awesome and amazing. And I got to be in the same hospital with my baby again. So once I was feeling a little bit better, I was able to go to the NICU and visit him. And we ended up being discharged on the same day.
Baby needs to cry. coming home and the kids were ecstatic they drew beautiful pictures and they put it in the front door they cleaned up the house they made sure their toys were put away they were just so super excited to have mommy back after basically an entire week of me being in and out of the hospital um so it was a little bit insane but thank god we were all okay we came back home um, the kids were jumping up and down with joy and my husband basically took the baby as you saw and introduced him to everyone and it was just a beautiful scene um, we tried to give them individualized attention you'll see my husband brought this like project this um, puzzle of just the first five kids and the family so they were able to build that together and um, I as you can see I specifically left this clip in where I look pretty haggard where I look really really terrible and I actually wanted to leave that in because I think that's reality that isn't really shared so much on social media I was talking about it on Instagram where I, I was following these other accounts on Instagram where they had their babies at around the same time as I did and they looked perfect and I'm happy for them that they looked perfect their hair was done and their makeup was amazing and they just were full of energy and that was never my reality after having a baby and I wanted to basically show that other side of having a baby where you're tired and you need time to recover and you need time to look your best and that is okay and I wanted this space to basically share that with other moms that it's okay to feel exhausted to take time for yourself to recuperate to be gracious to yourself so um yeah i definitely specifically left this next clip inside for all of you other moms <laughs> um that is that that this is your reality <laughs> Somebody woke up from their nap. This next clip that you're going to see now is something that is so amazing in our community that the women in our community do for other 
um, moms who just had babies is a meal train. So I was lucky enough to have a meal train for two weeks after I gave birth. So some of my amazing friends, neighbors, acquaintances dropped off food for the family, which, wow, it is so helpful as a um, as a mom who just gave birth, who's so, so busy, I am so super thankful and so appreciative. And I just love the community here for that. Had to take a quick break to feed the little one um so this next clip that you're going to see is my amazing mom who i'm even going to get emotional talking about it but um she's been here helping me out and i am so so thankful for her she's been um helping me with feeding the baby at night and cleaning and tidying up and and cooking and all of those amazing things of course my husband is here and of course he's helping but there's nothing like your mommy by your side helping you just women know what women need you know what i mean and i am just so blessed and thankful to have her here so she stocked my freezer with all of these yummy things and i am so thankful thank you mom At around two weeks postpartum, two weeks after I had my baby, I developed mastitis, which is basically a clogged milk duct that gets infected. So that was a little rough patch as well. It was like one thing after another. It was um, not not such a great place to be in, but thank God I just got antibiotics um, and I am much better now. I feel great. Uh, currently, I am four weeks postpartum. It's actually the baby's one month birthday today. So wish him a happy birthday down below. Just want to make it very, very clear that even though I went through all the things that I went through, I know it could have been 10 times worse. And I'm very thankful that I'm doing well now and my baby's doing well, our family's doing great. Um, I just wanted this to be a video where people see a raw um, postpartum recovery that I feel like isn't really shared that much here in the social media space. And I just wanted to tell all the mommies out there to uh, be kind to yourself. It takes time to recover. It takes time to get back to yourself. 
and it's okay and just be gracious to yourself and it will all hopefully get there sooner than later it took me a while to even just get the courage to get out of my pajamas and put on some makeup and that is okay like i said i'm four weeks postpartum now and i'm finally starting to like see the light <laughs> after everything that i've um i've gone through uh, which isn't terrible by any means it's fine it's not such a big deal tons of people go through so much worse and i am so thankful that my recovery is um baruch hashem doing pretty well Thank you so much for watching, for all your kind comments. I am getting your uh, letters in the PO box. I am getting your cards and gifts. Thank you so, so much. You guys are amazing and so sweet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to share it with a new, a new mommy that you think will benefit from this, don't forget to share this video as well with them. And I'll see you all guys next time. Happy prepping from my family to yours.